Hi guys, nice and early. Okay, it is four minutes past eight UK London GMT time. It's 29th of December 2017. Um, I've been stalking this for a while now. Monaco coin MCO is getting ready. Um, just on yesterday's video, I can't seem to find CND um, BTC on my TradingView platform, which is really weird because I'm pretty sure I made the video yesterday on on um, on trading view so a little, little bit confused there so um, if anyone knows how to find the CND chart uh, on trading view please let me know because I've I seem to have lost it am I recording this um, so a little bit strange to be honest because I'm typing in CND and I can't seem to find I'm pretty sure I worked on it yesterday so I've, I've had to pull it up on this this crappy Koniji um, bollocks so um, I mean what we were working with was was a descending triangle wasn't it so um, not too sure what's happened there how how is it not on trading view so if anyone knows please just um, email me or write in the comments um, do like the comments um, it's a it's a good laugh someone asked me how old I was and I said I was eight um, so uh, yeah have a good laugh I actually find that really funny. Um, obviously, you guys don't say A, B, C, D, E. Yeah, so it looks as though C and D is breaking out. Um, as I said, this this is more of a higher risk, only because it's a small market cap. But um, you see the powerful... Um, you see, see the power of triangles. I mean, any of you guys could do this, um, really. Um, as you can see, it really fills out. There's not much space, and it hits this at least three times. So it needs to be hitting at least one side of the triangle three times, and the other at least twice. And ideally, the more hits it gets, the better. So C and D is getting really ready here. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find it on bloody trading view. So if anyone knows how to find it, um, let me know. But I'm fairly certain yesterday's video was on. I don't like Koniji. I just don't like the platform. A lot of pissing about. Um, but yeah, all of these whales are getting in. So a lot of whales here. A lot of Moby Dick action going on here. I'm sure you guys have read Moby Dick. Um, yeah, that reminds me of, of my coffee actually. Yeah, so C and D is looking good. That's going to go into a wave three. So um, just ride that one up, okay? As I say, take regular profits. That when when I say take regular profits, it doesn't mean you take out a hundred percent of your thing. You just every you know twenty five, fifty percent it goes up. You take off ten percent or whatever. Just come up with any sort of system. People have asked me on my own system. I don't really have a system as such. I just like to take regular profits on the way up. So just come up with some sort of system. That way you're always taking profits. Just in case we're wrong, it's a false breakout and it comes back down again. Okay? Because you you can never be hundred percent accurate. Um, you know, it, it, it's this is but technical analysis is a lot better. It's a lot more accurate than you guys following media or fundamentals or whatever. This is as accurate as you're going to get. But even this. Statistically, it's only 80% accurate, and what I do is is probably 90% accurate. So guaranteed, one out of 10 times, I am going to be wrong, um, and that does happen. Okay, I can't I can't help you with that. Okay, this is not investment advice, is it? This is just my own opinion. So technical analysis, um, you know, it is there is still a margin of error there that you need to account for, but everything's looking good. But I guarantee you, this TA is way more accurate than any sort of following the news or following fundamentals or whatever anyway with that being said C and D looks looks really good so you know good luck with that so Monaco I've been stalking this for a while um, and you know once again I'm bored of talking about triangles um, so you know Monaco's in this in this triangle here so basically what Monaco has done is that would be a C wave so what it did back in May a one two three four five. So the peak of five was. Let's just bring that down to there. Um, now it's done. It's done a long drawn out A B C. So all the way from, well, sept all the way from August all the way down to really you know November. That's a, that's a long drawn out consolidation period there. Long long drawn out sort of boring. Not really making you guys a lot of money. And now suddenly it started moving again. A lot of whale spikes. Now all it's doing now is consolidating getting ready for the move now I would be patient with this okay much like verge I like my triangles and the longer they consolidate the higher the move is going to be and I'm very bullish on this because if, if all of this is a one so yeah so if we say all of this is a one yeah all of this nonsense is a two 
it's now forming a three. Obviously, three must be higher than here. So the minimum is going to reach reaches 27. But to be honest, it's going to go a lot, lot higher than that. So this is all. This is all a one, off three. So yeah. So you got your one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We know wave three itself. It's better be recording. Now we know wave three in itself has also got five. It's one, two, three, four, five. So basically Monaco has done this, it's done the two, and now it's doing the one and the two. So this is now the one and the two off wave three, if that makes sense, okay? So this is gonna go into a three of three. So three off three, and that's your killer wave. That's what Verge did a couple of weeks ago. So that's what you don't wanna miss. That's why I love buying triangles. And for those of you who aren't patient, then you know you need to find you know, Crypto Bobby or Trevon James, you need to find another YouTube channel. My my analysis is for those who are patient, okay? And if you're patient with Monaco, it's going to make you a lot of money because it's going to go into a wave three or three, which basically means we're going to be in for a very Verge-like move. Obviously, it might not go up a bajillion percent like Verge, but it'll definitely go up at least half a bajillion, whatever that is. Um, as you can see, it's just consolidating. I mean, this is just a, this is this kind of thing I I love, and I, you know I've been advising all of my clients, um, and and me and my team have been getting in on these dips. We've just been building a large position here, and you're getting some whales stepping in now here. You're getting a bit of whale spikes here, so it's getting ready for a move, and it's going to happen. Um, it's going to happen soon. So, you know, we spoke about the date. Um, the date range for ascending triangles as you know somewhere between well 64 percent really anywhere up to 70 percent so it's roughly there and once again as you can see um it's just consolidating it's just getting ready for the move but my analysis shows that if you're patient with this another well i don't know it could happen any time to be honest it could happen any time i mean 29th so it could easily happen over the next 72 hours i reckon it's going to break out and it's going to go into a three of three and that's the killer wave this is the this this three of three right here is where you make the most amount of money as you as you do in stocks now what we find with cryptos is that actually you get an extended fifth wave so this three or three all you know does you do make a lot of money but at the same time if you were then to hold it through the wave four you then also get this extended wave five as you did on did did you buy as well as on verge so you know, there's an argument to me, just hold this. This is a long consolidation here. So the minimum you're gonna get is two weeks of upside momentum. It's easy gonna break 27, that's not even difficult. The question is, um, I mean, I had targets here. So there's there's my target, 52 on the US dollar chart. So, you know, if you buy now, so at least 200% gain. And it, it's a safe coin, you know, it's, it's um, a safe coin from my understanding it's not a small cap coin um, I can't seem to find it here where is it Monaco Monaco um, yeah 41% liquidity so 231 million yeah so I mean that market cap is going to be easily half a billion uh, is a half yeah half a billion that's easy going to be half a billion once it doubles in price um, and I think it's getting listed on the Binance Stock Exchange or whatever so a bit of fundamental whatever that word means um, at some point so yeah it's just getting ready so if you guys are patient um, Monaco is definitely gonna reward you and um, as I said I do like these sort of long consolidation patterns I don't mind waiting you out um, that's the way you make money yeah you make more money from waiting than you do buying or selling as per Jesse Livermore um, the greatest stock trader from the 1930s um, so as you can see here okay once again 50 EMA yeah so support 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 and the 50 EMA is curling up to support the price so the 50 EMA is currently at 12.4 and it's currently bouncing off that to support the price and volume is is definitely exactly as you would like in a consolidation pattern it's coming down sooner or later we're going to get a couple of whale spikes and then it's going to be off so I would advise a buy on Monaco um, in my in my opinion um, also very quickly I'll just set it up on the weekly chart yeah so weekly chart once again high volume low volume low volume low volume we're now on Friday so a couple more days this is going to turn out to be a doji indecision candle which is fine the week after is it's gonna it's gonna definitely break out so I presume this candle closes on Sunday um, I believe 
they close on Sundays in cryptos, which is fine. So I reckon another 72 hours, and much like Verge started breaking out on the Monday or the Tuesday, I remember doing the video on Monday morning at 6 a.m. on Verge, and it had broken out on that Tuesday. So at some point over the next one, two, three, four, five days, Monaco is going to break out. And as I say to you many, many times, I love triangles, and I like to buy in the consolidation period, and I like to just sit back and watch the public jump on and then ramp the price all the way up so that's the way I do it um, and you know the large account is going to be something like so this is all a really big one this is all a big two let's say well three is going to go to here four and then you know it's going to go a lot a lot higher here let's say three is there so five I'm not even going to draw let's draw that on a bigger scale so you don't get let's draw that on the super cycle so that's that's the count here um, and then this itself is broken into a smaller, you know, so very quickly, a smaller one, two, three, four, five. So um, I'm very bullish. Sorry, that four can't be there because four can't cross one, can it? So I'm very bullish on Monaco. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure that someone's going to tweet out or something, or someone's going to release some news or fundamentals because everything's setting up for a move. This is just bound to, bound to break out at some point very, very soon. Um, and that's the kind of thing that I like, a long drawn out consolidation period. Um uh so yeah, that's that's Monaco indecision indecision candle on the four hourly. So yeah, if you wanted to, you know, break down the Elliott wave count, it's just um that's all a one. A, B, C, D, E. Yeah. The E hasn't crossed the the C, which is what you want, and the C hasn't crossed the A, which is perfect. So um, certainly, if it, if, it, if it breaks down below here, obviously it's no longer bullish. That's that nine, but um, it looks as though people are stepping in now. So another day or two of pissing about, and then it's going to break out. So I'm very bullish on Monaco. Um, this is a strong buy. Uh, so yeah, that's 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 Monaco for you. Um, 50 EMA is flattening, it's getting ready to move off as well. Let's look on the hourly chart, see if we can find any signals. Okay. Yeah, a bit of high volume here. I'm just at 116,000 coins at 6 a.m. And that was 6 a.m. my time. Okay. Yeah, and that and that is that does look that does look quite impulsive there. So, yeah, Monaco is getting ready for a move. So, um, yeah. So as we always say, it's all about transferring money from the impatient to the patient. So, um, and you always make more money from waiting. So Jesse Livermore, the greatest stock trader ever. Um, I'll link you to his book. Um, Actually, I'll just tell you what the book is. It's um, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator. Um, you can get it on Amazon. Very good book. Very good book. He was the greatest back in 1930. Um, so, yeah. And um, all history teaches us is um, that it repeats itself. And just an another thing. You know, we, you know, we, we spoke about mass very candidly yesterday. Um, you know, it's quite worrying. A lot of you guys think the answer to this... Um, A lot of you guys think the answer to this question is eight, yeah, and that's quite worrying. So, I think money, money to one side, like, you know, I know the average age of anyone watching this is somewhere between twenty-five and thirty-four. So it's too late for you guys to go back into high school. But honestly, if you guys think two plus two times two is equal to eight, then we need, we need to do a live stream on maths. I think because let's just forget about Fibonacci's and um, Fibonacci's and money and everything else if if you guys really think two plus two times two is equal to eight then you know we need some serious help here right you guys need, need to stop tweeting and facebooking and get back to maths okay maths is if you're not good at maths you're not going to make money in this game okay because you'll never understand the risk and reward fast enough for you guys ever to make money so the answer to this, this question as we all know is not eight at all okay the answer to this is actually six okay and I've asked a couple of you whales out there, I won't mention any names, so um, I don't want you guys to get too clever for your own good. The answer to this is actually six. Okay, so once you guys understand why the answer is six, you're well on your, your, your way to be um, good mathematicians. So, you know, for those of you guys younger than 20, 
just pull up, up you know open up a mass book maybe do your GCSEs again or whatever or um, for those of you in sixth form or college please do maths okay without maths you'll have no understanding of money and finances and you won't make any money in your life so maths yeah the answer is not eight answers not eight okay so um, and it's quite worrying a lot of you guys think the answer to do this is eight um, that's the problem with today's society no one's no one's learning all the good stuff everyone gets their opinions from um, people like M McAfee and from Facebook um, trolls and whatever but there you go and that's the state of society today so I'm thinking about doing a live stream just on maths because <laughs> like, it's quite worrying a lot of you guys the, the maths knowledge is quite poor so um, my live stream account should be back up and running on the 4th of January so if you guys are interested just let me know in the comments um, but yeah the answer to this is actually 6 and not 8 so um, but anyway maths to one side maths to one side um, Monaco is a goodbye so yeah good luck I'll catch you guys soon